All right, we're here at the house, 5812. The exterior, vinyl siding, looks pretty good. Here's the neighbors, kind of look around. It's quiet down here. Kind of walk around. Over here, they have some garden boxes on the side which this is the south side of the house. Everything looks good. I'm gonna run inside quick. All right, here's the interior. First impression is it does have a bit of a curry smell. A lot of hard surfaces. Seems like the paint could be a little bit better condition, but Got some beat up trim there. Looks like they caught it on the corner. I was wondering how this office would look. They've got all these built ins. And then walls a little beat up too. Windows are all vinyl. Going back out here. House looks like it's a little bit lived in, a little beat up. My recommendation would be to paint. We've got a uh, Nest programmable thermostat. That does not look like the original insert for the gas fireplace. And then this dining area, you can see where it's separated with carpeting. Actually, I kind of like the cabinets. They're kind of a rich... Uh, they're not really oak. Beautiful fridge. I think the fridge is included. The washer and dryer are negotiable. You can see the... They need to clean a little bit better. I think it's part of the their cooking style that left it a little bit dirty. Run right in here. Got a small half bath. Looks like these floors... Cracked a little bit, but that's just because of drying out. Probably just needs a humidifier. Let me run up to the garage quick. Typical two car. Bunch of shelving. And then more shelving over here. I think we've got nine foot ceilings on the ceiling on the main floor, which is good. Let's see, this is just a coat closet. Uh, these doors are a little bit dirty. It just, just needs to be cleaned up. Let's run downstairs. As you can see they didn't put drywall on the brick there. Then we've got bifold doors here, more storage. And turn around. There's a little bit more beat up drywall. Doors are a little bit dirty again. Got a three quarter bath here. Nothing spectacular, but it's a bathroom. And this house is open today, I guess, from I think one to three or one to four. We've got a conforming bedroom here. Nothing huge. They've got big, chunky furniture. Let's see, so just more dings, trim. Let's see if I can get the lights, there we go. We've got another egress window here. Daylight, this is just looking outside. Looks like there's a little sandbox there. Their TV set up. Little sloppiness there with the uh, trim. This door needs to be painted. Furnace is. This actually has a germicidal light and it does have a humidifier. Um, let's see. I don't have my glasses on. Can't really read to see what age it is or the year. Looks like they might have had a little bit of a leak, maybe with the AC coil or something. See if I can find the water heater. Got a 
another storage room back here. Some shelving. Electrical box. Ah, there's the water heater. That does not look original. Looks like it's kind of newer. It's kind of tight in here. I am going to... It looks like they maybe repaired the water heater in the past. There's the uh, quick recovery vent, maybe from an old one. I'm going to run upstairs now. Oh, before I go, they do have these kind of cool programmable lights. I don't know if that's a Lutron system or what. All right, now we're out the back. The deck, actually in pretty nice shape. Vinyl siding all looks good. There are a couple holes here. I don't know, we're probably being videotaped while we're videotaping with the cameras. Fenced in yard. Nice vinyl storage shed. You can kind of see the neighbors. Big yard. Real big yard. Then here's the uh, that sandbox that we were looking at downstairs. And then the garden. All right, going around the corner here. Shelving system again. We've got the uh, front yard. Looks like the neighbor might have a puppy. Let's go upstairs. I don't know if this is my favorite hardwood type. It's pretty dark. You can see there's a pretty good gap there in the floor. It's kind of beat up. This is a little bit narrow. We've got the, this is the bedroom on the east side of the house. Kind of bad little closet. Over here, got a full bath, very blue and green. Low countertops, looks like the original vinyl floor. Got a linen closet. Kind of, I don't know if you could see that, but it's this house just needs a good cleaning, deep clean. This is the bedroom on the southwest corner. Here's the view outside. Neighbors have a ghetto pool. We call them above ground pools too. Another walk-in closet, pretty comparable to the other one. Then we'll go over here. Again, just dirt. This is actually a good sized bedroom. It's kind of long, but not super wide. Got a couple things, probably a shelving. It's like they paint like I would, that's why I don't paint anymore. Closet. This is the window looking out the back. We're looking to the west. It's got western exposure. Oh, and again, just more shelving or something that was removed. And then now we'll go into the master. Uh, before we go in there, kind of see this closet. It's like the slats are just kind of getting loose. Here's your laundry room, basically. It's a closet. And if I remember correctly, I think the washer and dryer stay. And here we have the double door to get into the master. Great size. Trade ceiling. Here's the view outside. There is a trail, I think back there, that goes around. It's not too far away from Easter Lake. Then we'll go into the master bathroom. Jacuzzi tub, high sinks. It's like original flooring. Decent sized shower attached to the jacuzzi tub. Got a water closet or separate bathtub or bath, I'm sorry, toilet. 
And then here is the master closet, which isn't too bad a size. Did notice the, the mirror a little bit is kind of deteriorated. They have updated some of the light fixtures. They probably just took all the brass out and put darker fixtures in, but they did do the hinges, which is nice. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like somebody had a hard time moving stuff in. 